Hello, everyone, and welcome to Disney WTF, where we talk about what's the fuss about Disney. This is episode 34, and for those that don't know us by now, we're a Disney couple. One of us is a Disney fanatic, and one of us is not, but somehow we've made a way to make this relationship work. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? It's going okay. Yeah. Just finished with the holidays, so yes, well, that's a little bit of a stress reliever. We still have New Year's to come. Well, true. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we finished with a couple of the holidays, yeah. with one approaching, I suppose. And I have a, a fun, I have a fun Christmas present that I got for Christmas. What'd you which, get? For those that are watching, they can see what, what it is on the table here. But it is a Mickey hat that is groomed out. So my sister got us Mickey, Mickey and Minnie ears that are wedding a bride and a groom. Yeah. And we love them. I was wearing mine all last night. She loves them. You love them too. It's it's rough. It's I, rough to love. I'm not even going to lie though. I really like the grooms especially because it has little tails on the back. Like, you know, like a tux and the tails. Did you notice that? I did notice the tails. I, I just really appreciate yeah. that. Anyway, headlines. All right. So my first headline, it's kind of in sad news. The mayor of Main Street, who, Richie, you may or may not know, is one of the characters who is on Main Street, the actual mayor of Main Street. He has passed away, unfortunately. I do not know who that was, but that's obviously sad. Um, yeah. He was seen a lot in the Welcome Show, especially. He hosted it a lot. That mm-hmm. was, the well, the actual old Welcome Show of Magic Kingdom, where it was on the railroad station. And, um, yeah, he's going to be missed. Oh, it's man. unfortunate. Uh, next headline. Mm-hmm. And this is a security measure that I want to get your opinion on. Okay. I want it on the record, on the podcast record. On the podcast record. <laughs> so now it Disney has made it so that they're changing the do not disturb signs to being occupied signs so that they can make sure that housekeeping can go into each room at least one time daily. Interesting. So if they are, if the sign says occupied, then they will either come back later or call you to see when they can come back. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this? Well, I mean, it's interesting because I, I get that there is, it's a security measure, you know, for, to make sure, I guess, but I don't know if they're doing it to, you know, make sure that everything's okay inside or what, or, or, or whatever. But I usually prefer, you know, to have my housekeeping done, like when I'm finished with my stay. So mm-hmm. that's going to be interesting. And I have to change that habit of mine, but um, I think, I don't know, I, I guess like I can see the purpose of it, but I don't know, I guess, you know, someone thought it made sense. So. I mean, do you think it'll be effective if somebody is, let's say, planning something for a couple days at a time that housekeeping would be able to go in and kind of check it out? I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to prevent some crazy plot, but I mean, because like, you know, for example, like the thing that happened recently in Vegas, I mean, like that, like the rarity of that to happen somewhere where someone is staying somewhere for a week to plan something. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's going to do, like, a lot. I guess Except we, inconvenience people that uh, don't like, you know, the people coming in when they're, um, like, preferring people not to come in when they're do- when, during their stay. Well, I will say this. Like, regardless of how people specifically feel about it, I do appreciate the fact that Disney is taking additional measures, however whatever measures they may be Mm -hmm. to ensure safety. And I always think that's a good thing. And I know you do too. Yeah. So it's just, just, I guess the way they, the next step. Yeah. But anyways, let's move on from headlines because I'm really, really excited about today's episode. And today's episode is somewhat unique because I'm usually the one that hosts and kind of gets Richie's take on things. But there was a day a couple weeks ago, I would say. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, it would be really fun if we got your Richie's ideal day in yeah. Disney, so a non-Disney fanatic, what is your ideal day at the parks yes. or in Disney in general? So I can't wait to to hear all this. No spoilers have been had, mm-hmm. so we're just going to hear it all for the first time right now. Yeah, I have notes, which you know, if she once she wasn't looking at it, then there was no spoilers. But my notes are here, and it's going to be interesting, I guess, too, because. I mean, I know it, it's it's different because I know a little bit more than the average person does now, than the, like the average non-fanatic. 
So um, I have a little bit more information to go on, but I think it'll still be interesting being that, you know, how I feel about Disney now, what my ideal, ideal day will be like. So to start, first of all, we would stay at the Wilderness Lodge. Oh, wow. You are fancy. Yeah, because that place is amazing. It is amazing. I would definitely stay there. You know, to me, that's the best resort that's there that I've seen. So I would stay there. Mm -hmm. And then I would, you know, the morning would start off with Mickey Waffles. Okay. And hopefully some Starbucks or coffee from, what is it, Joffrey's? Joffrey's. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'd have either Joffrey's or Starbucks. And then the first park I would want to go to would be Animal Kingdom. Okay. And why did you choose Animal Kingdom as your first park? So I want I, I want to start the day off after coffee with some tea. <laughs> and there's an amazing tea that is at Tiffin's. Yes. In Animal exactly Kingdom. Right. Mm-hmm. So I would do that, try to catch the parrot show at some point. The the um not the parrot show. What are, what are those things called? The birds? The macaw show the at macaw the Tree show. of Life. I would try to catch that and the kangaroos. By the Tree of Life, because mm-hmm. that's also phenomenal. While I'm drinking my tea, I will only get one tea in the, to start. Oh, so not two teas no. like you did last time. No, I will get one tea to start. Go to try to do those things. Do a ride um, mountain, Mount Everest. Uh-huh. I'll ride Mount Everest. <laughs> then do a safari. Okay. And then to wrap up Animal Kingdom, I would head back to Tiffin's for another tea to go. Wow. Okay. So, okay, let me recap this in my head. So we're going to start at Animal Kingdom, and the first thing you want to do is get a tea chaser for your coffee. To start my day off. Okay. And then, I mean... This is definitely an ideal situation because the way you make it sound just sounds so easy to do Expedition Everest. Then we're going to go do the safari. Some we're also going to catch fast passes. The, well, yeah, <laughs> you would have to because otherwise you're going to be waiting probably a really long time. Which is fine because that's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, that's I, I'm on board with this plan because okay. it's, it's getting the two big guys out of the way. So you wouldn't want to do any sort of trails with the animals while you're at Animal Kingdom? No. I wouldn't. Not now. Okay. Because I've already done those. Okay. And like, they're not, they're, I mean, you learn a lot from the cast members and everything, but you don't really get to see a lot usually. So it's not like as exciting, which similar to the, you know, the safari, but I just feel like there's more action, you know, go on the safari, you have the tour guide, you have the other people on there with you. So that's much cooler. All right. No, and you definitely get to see a lot of animals in the safari. So it's a lot of bang for your buck in terms of you know, instead of having to walk down a trail. Mm-hmm. So this, this is a wonderful, wonderful day so far. Yeah. Okay. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're taking our tea to go at the end of Animal Kingdom, what are we going to do next? So after we have our tea, we would then go to, depending on, depending on what time it is, possibly go for like a nap or something. <laughs> Gosh. Just to chill. Wow, a nap came really early in this day. Well, no, because you, like you said, like it doesn't, like it sounds easy, but who knows? I could take hours. Yeah, you know, you'll to probably do all that be, stuff. it'll probably be, if, I'm guessing if we're doing a rope drop situation, then probably we can do all of this by maybe like one. Yeah. So and that, then, that definitely calls for a nap. So possibly take a nap, you know, chill for a little bit, um, watch some football, because I'm assuming it's a Saturday during like maybe football season. So maybe catch some football. <laughs> And then back at the Wilderness Lodge that we're staying, since it's a beautiful resort, we exactly. want to spend some time there. Exactly, okay. I want to hang out there for a while. Um, and then after napping and possible football and and exploring the Wilderness Lodge, I would then uh, I would then go to Magic Kingdom. Hmm. Okay. I'd only do two parks. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the second park would be Magic Kingdom, mm-hmm. and I would go straight for Starbucks again because it's probably the time for the second cup of coffee of the day, possibly third, okay. depending on what time it is. Go to go to Starbucks and then go secure a spot on the that hub lawn area and probably just chill there all day. Okay. Yeah, and watch people and just hang out. Um, I would possibly before or after that, I would want to ride Space Mountain mm-hmm. because it's another roller coaster. And 
either like go back or if, if, if I started with Space Mountain, I would then go find the, the lawn thing. If not, I would go back to the hub lawn mm -hmm. and chill there more for more time yeah. <laughs> and relax. And then I would want to eventually stay long enough, I'd probably eat there. I don't know what I would eat. I didn't think about the food situation at Magic mm -hmm. Kingdom. I don't know what I would eat. But I would definitely use something similar to what we did. Just, you know, quickly order it online mm -hmm. and go bring it back and chill there. Back at the hub lawn. Back at the hub lawn. <laughs> and then I think that I would want to see, I would definitely want to stay for the fireworks show. Because one, yeah, it's amazing and everything. But I think I I actually enjoy seeing like the, the passion and love from like the other fanatics. And how much they like are at awe by it. Like that to me is like super interesting. Yeah. And I, I, I enjoy and like I'm fascinated at watching that. So I'd want to stay for that. And then, so it's interesting. A lot of your day is literally relaxing. Yeah. And relaxing, whether it be on the hub lawn or back at the resort for a nap or, or some football. It's not... It's not go, go, go. I want to see these rides because these rides are my favorite. It's just like going, enjoying the atmosphere yeah. and and relaxing yeah. and not having to worry about a whole lot. Yeah, because honestly, like I'm not the I'm not a huge fan of like all the attractions. Like I don't like I don't go there. and I'm like, oh, I really want to go to this one. I want to go see that one. Like I don't want to like that to me. I'm doing all because of you. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't personally I'm like excited about those types of things for myself which is why most of it would be just relaxing or, you know, doing other things. Which is super interesting because as, as a Disney fanatic, I would say that a lot of other fanatics would probably do the more relaxing way of touring like you. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily because, oh, I have to ride Seven Doors Mine Train. I have to do the carousel, you know, those things like to, 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 to go ham, which definitely is like a day but you have to like mentally prepare yourself like mm -hmm. okay this is the day we're going to have mm -hmm. but on just the day like a casual day like a saturday and maybe you went crazy the day before mm -hmm. relaxing in the disney atmosphere is probably one of the favorite things of a lot of disney fanatics and just being there and absorbing the magic yeah but i don't i don't see that though because when i when i see like i don't see a lot of people doing that for example look at the hub lawn Mm -hmm. Like, think about how many Disney fanatics there are and how much space there was at all times there. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I think that, you know, they're they're there enjoying it, but I think they all still want to ride the rides. Yeah. Like, I'm seeing, like, all these crazy... And I can... I feel like I can spot a fanatic now. And I feel like... And I'm seeing <laughs> all the of wild. them. Yeah. And, like, I'm seeing all of them, like, doing their stuff and, like, planning and, like, excited, you know? So, I don't know. You could be right. But, but I you might could be, be wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I don't know. Well, I, I at least, okay, I can speak for myself that maybe the time that we spent on the hub line on our most recent trip, on mm -hmm. our ho last holiday trip uh, a couple weeks ago, we, we spent a lot of time there. Too much time? I don't think so because I did enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. But if it was just you and me, let's say, I would have probably said, okay, time to go. Let's go ride Jingle Cruise or let's go to Haunted Mansion. Yeah. To, to feel like we, we did some other things other than just relaxing. Yeah. But at the same time, that's partly because I, I don't live in Orlando anymore. It's only, you know, a, maybe a, a handful of times a year yeah. that I'm able to travel up there. So I do want to see my favorites at that point. But if it was a multi-day trip, let's say, mm -hmm. and this is just my ideal situation, if we were in a multi-day trip, there would be a day that we would go just, okay, rope drop, we're there, we hit this fast pass, we do this next attraction, we go do our another fast pass, we go eat lunch, you know, and really kind of get around and get mm -hmm. tired. And then the following day, it's it would be more like your ideal day as well. Yeah. So I think that's the thing also about fanatics is you can have you can have a variety of types of days, but at the same time, maybe you do have kind of a set agenda in your head yeah. for what you want to accomplish for that day. Yeah. Cause I would be just happy doing your touring plan. Yeah. Well, duh. I'm sure any <laughs> fanatic would be. Well, duh. <laughs> um, so in addition to these two things, and I don't know when when I would when I would schedule this into the day, but I would want to do full monorail loops, both in the morning mm. and at night, to see what that's like. 
Okay. Is like there the full. What do you want to hit while you're on the monorail loop? All of it. Okay, like all the hotels. No, no, no. Like I just want to stay on the monorail and ride it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get off. I okay. want to ride it through everything one loop around. Because okay. there's only one loop, right? Correct. Well, okay. there's one loop, but then there's a branch of the monorail that you've actually never ridden, I don't think. Yeah, I want to do all of it. Okay, well, it goes to Epcot. <laughs> okay. It goes to Magic Kingdom, for Magic Kingdom and Epcot and back. Yeah, I want to do all that in the day and in the night. I want to see what it's like, the differences. Okay. Now... It, let's say after you've done this, mm -hmm. you know, one time, the monorail loop specifically, yeah. do you think that it's something that you're going to need to accomplish again in your days? Um, like in your ideal day? I don't know, because because I haven't done that yet. Like the, the, the uh, specifically the monorail thing, I haven't done that yet. So I don't know if how, how I'll enjoy it. Like I need to do this every time. <laughs> Whereas the Hublon thing, I was like, I need to do this every time, <laughs> you know, so... I don't know. I don't know if it'll, like, after I do that, if it'll be that way or not. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting as well about your touring pan plan? Let's go back to <laughs> pan. Touring pan. <laughs> what are you cooking it? It's funny. So let's go back to Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because with Animal Kingdom, you are actually, you know, going to attractions and making a point to see them. Like, what, whether you have fast passes or not, let's say. We'll say ideally you do. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in your mind that you would want to do like kind of what you're doing at magic kingdom with the hub line like if you found a place to relax it wouldn't be necessarily about going to wait in line forever as going to wait in line for safari yeah. and just people watch and the, look the at the tree way, of life the only way that, that that was cool and i feel like i had that feeling was when we were at harambe market mm -hmm. that was a cool place to hang out I'm just, I'm totally floored right now that you can just name Harambe Market by name well, without yeah. being like, oh, that food place, Africa, <laughs> somewhere in by the safari. Well, yeah. It, I always remember Harambe Market because I was like, is this the gorillas market, the one that died? Oh. <laughs> That's why it like stuck out to me. So like Harambe, it. poor, poor guy. Yeah. I thought they, I, th I, I honestly, when I saw it, because it was after the whole thing had happened and I heard, you know, I knew all the news and I saw the memes and stuff. I thought it was like a tribute. I didn't Harambe, think it was, yeah. Harambe, the, the animal. Yeah, I didn't think it was like a, you know, I think I didn't think it was there the whole time, I guess. Well, now I'm not as impressed because there's extenuating circumstances yeah. about why you would remember what Harambe <laughs> is. <laughs> but anyways, I digress, so yeah. that's okay. But I could totally, I'm not even kidding. If you wanted to just go and relax in Harambe Market for the day, like half the day, mm -hmm. and then go relax at the Hub Lawn in Magic Kingdom for the day... I, you do that. I, I would. I am on board. I am on that monorail train. Mm. Okay. <laughs> to relax. We would be on that monorail to do that. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> um, so after we've left Magic Kingdom, let me, see, let, me, let me just double check my notes here. Go for it. He had. He does have an extensive list. Okay. Okay. So after we would leave Magic Kingdom and possibly, you know, do a full loop because it's the nighttime and that might be the good time to do that. We would go back to um, the lodge to possibly, you know, clean up and and shower, things like that. Possibly take another 10 minute nap. <laughs> and then we would eat dinner at somewhere in um, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, go on. And then, and then, that, and then that would be the end of the day. Oh, wow. And then back to the lodge, obviously. You, you, sir, I'm going to marry this man <laughs> <laughs> because Animal Kingdom Lodge is, it's definitely one of my favorite foodie spots mm -hmm. because they have so many delicious options from Boma to Sanaa to Jiko, all of these wonderful dining options that have a variety of different food mm -hmm. that you can have. And for the adventurous food person, and even the not so adventurous, which Richie is not necessarily the most adventurous, mm -hmm. you can have, you can be satisfied completely yeah. and walk away and then even go outside to enjoy this, the, the savannah that they have in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We could add that to your list. No. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can add that. That would be that sounds like a wonderful day. And I also love how there's so many naps in incorporated into your day. I'm a napper. You are a napper. You're like a... Um, he, ninja? Richie's like a nap ninja because 
he can he can instantly put himself to sleep. Yeah, within like a minute or two. Yes, and, and then sleep for a solid eight minutes, like in REM sleep, borderline. Mm-hmm. And then wake up. And then wake up super refreshed. Whereas I, I'm like, okay, let me take thirty minutes to go down. Okay, then I'm gonna take two hours to sleep, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna wake up and need coffee yeah. and be super like drowsy. <laughs> yeah. But Just ruin your day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out like how my naps will incorporate into your day, which they yeah. might not. I you might just, just be go, watching me nap. Yeah. Like a weirdo. Let me watch you while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd be walking around the Wilderness Lodge probably. Yeah. And maybe I'll go to the Wilderness Lodge lobby tour. Yeah. Which is offered Wednesday through Saturday at 9 a.m. I should, I should write this up as like a as like a, a tour guide. A tour guide. Well, you would definitely title it the the non-Disney person's guide yeah. to a day at Disney. The way to best chill at Disney. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. That's incredibly appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I super I think that your your day I'm relaxed just hearing about it and I don't the only thing is here's the catch for people who don't have an annual pass mm-hmm. do you think that they would feel satisfied with paying for a one day park hopper ticket which is what you would need mm-hmm. to enjoy this touring plan do you think that they would feel satisfied from their day if it, with this plan it depends okay on if they're like me or not <laughs> because if they don't if if they care about the rise and attractions then they're gonna be like this is the worst we didn't do anything <laughs> we sat here and, and just sat exactly <laughs> but if they are like me and you know they just want to take in everything and just you know be there or whatever and and experience other people's experiences mm-hmm. then this would be ideal okay so and is also a thrill seeker because these are like my day does only the only thrill seeking things at those two parks Everest only. and Space Mountain yeah mm-hmm. so okay I don't know I, I feel like if if it were a Disney fanatic without an annual pass they would probably they wouldn't like that well yeah. they clearly would not like that I mean that's not something that like cause, because people that like Disney like all the attractions and everything mm-hmm I There's like no one that like I love Disney, too. but I just love sitting there. Like that, I don't think that's like a thing. This is such a throwaway answer, but I do feel like it depends on the person. Cause it, I, I, I don't know. I, if I didn't have an annual pass, and I, you know what? Maybe I think I would be satisfied. Yeah. I think I would be satisfied as well, but it it would also depend on my mood. It would depend on the time of the month. I don't know. Yeah. Just... There are so many factors. <laughs> well. So I just I, I I do enjoy your touring plan though. All I can say is that I appreciate your progress mm-hmm. in your Disney. I think that your progress as a Disney uh, uh, marrying into Disney, yeah. which is what you're about to do yes. in 2019. Yes. Look into my eyes when I, when I say this. I'm really proud of you. Well, I will say that the one the one downfall, like I found a downfall oh. of like this whole like marrying a, a Disney fanatic thing. And it's this hat. Oh, okay, because this is crap. No. He's talking because about Because a friend his got me this. Ears. <laughs> and it's going to look ridiculous. But we're going to have to take pictures with these hats. Several. I know. Hundred. And I think it's going to be in the world and out on the record. It's oh, it's terrible. definitely going to be on the record. In fact, <laughs> I was, this morning, I was looking at save the date cards. Just, you know, online. Just, I Googled it and saw a couple <laughs> sites or whatever. But sure. then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been researching for yeah, hours. No. <laughs> no, no, no. So Sorry. I was thinking maybe what we could do is incorporate our bride and groom Mickey ears and announce and save the date that way. Yeah, I guess that'd be cool. On the record, podcast record. Yeah. That'd be cool. You know what I've realized? We're, you're doing a lot of things on the record here where it's like, okay, you're doing that, right? And it's just like, it just gets like engraved into plans <laughs> here on this podcast. I have to re listen though because it's like a running list. God. Listen to 34 episodes That's to funny. get the running list. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm, I'm happy to spend the day with you there. Yes. Thank you. Well, cool. That's all you got. So, before we do our little ending here, I just want people to understand that if you have an Alexa, that you really need to start listening to the Walt Daily because her flash briefings are amazing. <laughs> and the production value is is top notch. <laughs> and it's gonna be huge. And you know, if you're listening right now, you could be like, yeah, I've been listening to that for years at some point, because later on in the future, this flash briefing is gonna be amazing. And I'm excited for it. So you guys need to listen to this because it's amazing. 
Thanks, Richie. No problem. I appreciate the plug. No, the plug's amazing. Because I listen to it. Like, <laughs> I genuinely listen to this thing, and I'm not even, like, a Disney fanatic. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is really nice. <laughs> so. You don't just listen to it because you miss me. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's all that we have for today. And, you know, as always, if you're listening on iTunes, SoundCloud, wherever, subscribe, leave us a rating, let us know what you think. We'd really appreciate it. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Medium.com. So check us out on there. That's where we are. That is exactly where we are. And we always thank you guys so much for listening. We really, really appreciate it. We hope this brought a little bit of magic to your day, wherever, whenever you are. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye!